Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. But keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and this reading may or may not be for, be for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Timing is fluid as well, so, you know, it is what it is, right? So, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, Happy Winter Solstice. So, what do we have for Pisces for, I don't know, the week of the 21st through the 27th? What do we have for Pisces? the Empress. So you could be dealing with Taurus, could be dealing with Libra, but this is a time of fertility. This could also be your energy. It's a time of growth, tender, loving care, unconditional love. It's all about unconditional love at this time. You know, the Empress is a mother, somebody that is very sensual, very sexual, very beautiful, somebody that demonstrates love. So it's a time of birth as well. So this could be the birth of a new life. You know, the start of a new life. Now the Empress is all about being loved and cared for. She loves unconditionally. Or maybe I should just rephrase that since I'm thinking about it. She loves with all of her heart. But I do believe there's conditions. We have quite a few here, but I'm going to take them all. Basket. Recognition, reward for merit. Turkey. <laughs> Someone is behaving stupidly. Clouds. Temporary problems. Tower. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Now, I don't... Whoever made these cards, they may not have been thinking clearly. But when I see a tower, I don't think of a solid foundation. Finger. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the future. Four-leaf clover. Great. Good fortune. So you got something good coming in. Maybe you're building a new foundation. Maybe you've experienced a tower moment and you're building a new solid foundation. Looks like it's going to be successful. Someone's behaving stupidly. I don't know who that could be. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. So you're going to get some sort of recognition. There is going to be a problem in the future, okay? And didn't we have a temporary problems? Yes, we did. So we got some temporary problems. We do. We have some temporary problems because somebody's behaving stupidly. But there's going to be some sort of recognition. And a solid foundation is about to be built or it's being built right now. There's a lot of love around you because this is love and abundance. So you have a lot of love and abundance around you or within you. You're gonna. This is this is a gift, okay? The Empress gives birth to a miracle, a gift. So there's some sort of um, new beginning here. Put it that way. It's a very beautiful new beginning. It is. It is. So you got a beautiful new beginning here. King of 
Cups, very feeling. Romance, romantic, charming, love, kind, generous. Being right in your element. You're going to be feeling a lot of feelings during this time. Could be dealing with another water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a lot of love here. Okay, there is. There's a lot of love in whatever situation you're in. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Now, this is act now, think later. Just do it. Follow your heart. Now, the King of Cups follows his heart. There could be, this is, this is an, a genuine offer of love, or it's a loving uh, gesture of some sort. Knight of Wands. Very, very fertile time, just so you know. It's definitely a time of growth. Somebody may be expressing their feelings very sudden. It could be a sudden situation. There could be a sudden change here. Act now, think later. Follow your heart. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the death of a situation. Something coming to an end. So something is coming to an end. It's reached the end. It's over. This is a goodbye. So we do have a goodbye here. Judgment. Woo! Judgment is about the truth. It's a life-changing decision. Somebody is needing to make or they are going to be making a life-changing decision this week. Action is being taken. Now the Empress delivers. Okay, she delivers. She experiences pain, then she delivers. It's interesting because a solid foundation in the great good fortune is right underneath this Empress. Taking action. Somebody is taking action. They're making a decision. This is a final decision. This is a final decision. This is accepting the truth. This is absolution. This is the end of something. It is. This is the end of something. It's the end of something that was obviously very painful. Because the Empress has to go through pain to get her blessing. So, oh yeah, it was. Something very, very, very painful. It is the end of something that is very painful. Somebody is making a judgment call. Okay. They're accepting something. That's acceptance. Releasing. So releasing something. And it hurts, though. Because that Ten of Swords is there and that hurts. But this is act now, think later. Just do it. Just go. This is this is very painful. It's a painful separation. But this is accepting the truth. Now this is a chance to live again. It is. There's a chance for forgiveness, maybe? I don't know. Because this is a card of forgiveness. You think about Judgment Day. It's accepting, forgiving, releasing. Mmm. I see. King of Wands. This is taking action. We have somebody here that is given to take action. This is a visionary. Somebody that is very noble. This is somebody who sees something and goes after it. So somebody's going to be going after something. They're going to want a chance. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius.
decisive energy, protective, somebody, something about protection. We have an individual here that is given to take action. This person is very, once they make a decision, they go for it. There's no stopping them from going after it. So somebody is, is making a decision. This is definitely a decision maker. Somebody is, and it looks like they're looking at something. They're looking at something. Um, another chance or they're looking at an opportunity. Now this King of Wands is making a decision, a life-changing decision. I do feel like it's going to be a very emotional situation as well with that King of Cups up there. You may feel emotional about this decision that is being make, made. Now the King of Wands can take on any energy. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be this Taurus. It could be the Libra. It could be, it could be a Scorpio. I don't know. Somebody is making a life-changing decision. And it does involve goodbye. The end. It's over. The end. So yeah, we have a life de life changing decision that is being made. This is just doing it, having no fear. This is somebody that has no fear. This is a fearless individual that is ready for a new adventure because this is a very adventurous card. This person is, and it's like they're done thinking about it and they're just going to do it. So they're making, this could be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. Somebody could be suddenly leaving. They could be suddenly arriving. Could go either way. But the decision is being made. Okay? The decision is definitely being made. Mm. Now, there could be an upcoming celebration. There could also be a reunion here. Somebody could be uh, having a reunion of some sort. I have to say that because this is like a reunion. This is could be a re could be a reconciliation. It could be, um, could be doesn't well, that will not resonate with everybody. But this could be a reunion. That could be a, a, a reconciliation. Um, this is a celebration of of some sort. Getting together. There could be an upcoming get together. Okay, where you know there's something going on. This is a very fast moving energy, so something could happen very, very fast. Mm. Eight of Swords. Now, this is a reevaluation. Somebody has been in a space of mental turmoil, right? They've been they've been needing to escape from something, but they have been unable to escape. They've been staying in a situation that is you know, keeping them confined, but they don't, and they don't really want to be there, but fear has been in the way. Fear has been in the way of their own happiness, and I feel like now they're taking action, and they're going someplace else. Somebody's going someplace else. Now, this is an awakening. Or an epiphany. So somebody may be getting an epiphany. They may get some sort of um, wake up call, you know. They may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening as well. This is a new vision. This is a visionary. So we have somebody here that is has got some sort of vision. And I feel like whatever this vision is, is maybe they won't, I don't know, it won't be for everybody. But they're, this is like accepting their fate. Somebody is ready to accept their fate. Now this is a card of karma as well. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of karma here. But this is the end of a trial. Okay, when it comes to the time of judgment, it's the end of a trial. I, are you ready to be judged? Somebody's ready, okay? I feel like they're ready. They're ready to face their judgment, you know? Or they're ready to accept the truth, you know? That something is over, okay? This is over, okay? Let's just accept it. So that's what it is. Three of Cups is celebrating. It's having fun. So there could be an upcoming celebration. It, it, I feel like it's a very sudden energy. And it's because somebody decides to take action and go after something that they want. They make a decision. So a decision is definitely being made. Um, 
Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now that's a loss, right? It's an unplanned loss. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't have to like it. Okay, that's an unplanned loss. It is. Okay, this is a reality check. Okay, somebody may be getting a reality check. It could be a, a lack of. Uh, well, it's unplanned. lost opportunity, missed opportunity. Somebody has, has lost something or they're losing something that, but maybe they're just giving it away, you know? But it is time to celebrate because of that Three of Cups. It is. It's time to celebrate. Maybe it's, maybe you should celebrate this, you know? Maybe that's what you're doing, you know? Celebrating this uh, this loss. I mean, this is a loss. It's it's Because this is a celebration, getting together. This is uh, letting something go that is no longer valuable. It's no longer practical. It's not realistic. There's no opportunity in it, right? This is a no, no growth, okay? There's no opportunity for success. Staying trapped in this situation. There's no opportunity for set success here. No opportunity for success here. None. So action is being taken. We have somebody here that is very decisive. It sees this, it's like sees this new path, gets this new vision and decides, okay, just makes the decision to end something because that Ten of Swords is an ending and so isn't the Judgment card. So we definitely have an ending here. I think it's a very sudden change, honestly. And I think that it's a very emotional change because with that King of Cups, it's just it's emotions, okay? That's emotions. I feel like you may be feeling the pain. This is feeling pain, okay? You can hide it all you want, but the feelings are still there. So feeling some sort of pain over, you know, a decision that has been made. And I feel like the decision has that has been made has been made by another person. And I feel like it has to do with either a departure or an arrival with that Knight of Wands. It's a very, you know, I feel like it's, it's a sudden situation. It happens very, very fast. Probably faster than you think. This is this is like uh, needing to escape. Somebody just needs to escape. Ain't that the truth? So somebody needs to escape. They're in this. They're in this deep dark place. Stay in here. They need to get away. They need to get out of this place. It's like I gotta get out of here. I can't deal with it. It's too much. It's overwhelming. It hurts too much. Oh, oh boy. Get prepared for some sort of either arrival or departure. That's what this is. That's traveling, that's moving. Hoping for the best. There is going to be An, an arrival or, or a departure. Somebody is, is, is breaking free from something. They're leaving. It feels like they're leaving. They're leaving something behind that did not grow or did not manifest. Somebody needs to take action or they're taking action this week or in the very near future. Because of that Knight of Wands, that is act now, think later, get prepared, getting prepared. Somebody is getting prepared. They're getting prepared right now. They're getting prepared to escape. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So, yeah, it's the truth. And that's accepting the truth that something is over. So, a decision is being made. Get prepared for this departure, whatever it is. And maybe you're getting prepared right now. Maybe you're getting prepared or they're getting prepared. 
But this could also be an arrival because this is the birth of a new life. There, this, this departure could lead to an arrival, which I'm sure that it does. It's almost like act now, think later, lose the chance. I feel like somebody is also giving up something. They're giving up something of value. This is a life-changing decision. So I feel like this week you are probably making a life-changing decision. And it's either do it now or lose the chance. And I don't know how that... Oh, God. We have justice on the bottom. And it is in the upright. So this is a karmic consequence. There's consequences here. This is definitely about a decision and it has to do with karma and justice and doing the right thing. Something about a contract. Being honest and upfront. Maybe signing a new contract this week. Somebody may be. This is a definite week of making a decision. Decision, decision, decision. You have to make a decision or somebody that you're dealing with is making a decision. It has to do with a solid foundation. Don't keep thinking about it. Just do it. Good luck.